Nine signs you're in the right relationship. How do I know if I'm in the right relationship or not? What do you think a right relationship should provide for the people in it? Although the answer here is obviously subjective, in all relationships, romantic and platonic alike, there are some clear signs that things are going well. One, no games are being played. Far too often, we make our relationship harder than it has to be. The difficulties start when conversations become texting, feelings become subliminal, sex became a game, the word love fell out of context, trust faded as honesty waned, insecurities became a way of living, jealousy became a habit, being hurt started to feel natural, and running away from it all became a solution. Stop running, face these issues, fix the problem, communicate, appreciate, forgive and love the people in your life who deserve it. And of course, if you feel like someone is playing games with you, speak up. Two, everyone is on the same page. If a woman starts out casual with a man and she doesn't tell him she wants a committed relationship, it will likely never become a committed relationship. If you give someone the impression that casual or whatever is okay with you, that's what will be assumed going forward. The bottom line is that you have to be straight from the start, or at least as soon as you know what you want. Don't beat around the bush. If someone gets scared and runs away because you were honest and set boundaries, that person wasn't right for you anyway. Three, the line of communication is open, honest, and clear. You can't be afraid to have certain conversations. It's better to talk and find the truth than to keep going and get nowhere. Say what you mean and mean what you say. Don't expect the important people in your life to read your mind and don't play foolish games with their heads and hearts. Don't tell half-truths and expect them to trust you when the full truth comes out. Half-truths are no better than lies. Listen without defending and speak without offending. Communication isn't just an important part of a relationship, it is the relationship. Relationships often fail because of trust issues, commitment issues, and above all, communication issues. So be honest, commit, and communicate always. Four, loving deeds consistently reinforce loving words. Nurture your important relationships so that when you tell the people you love that you love them, it's merely a ritualistic validation of what you've already shown them by how you treat them on a daily basis. Do little things every day to show your loved ones you care. Truth be told, you can say sorry a thousand times or say I love you as much as you want, but if you're not going to prove the things that you say are true, they aren't. Five, expectations of perfection are strictly forbidden. Any relationship that's real will not be perfect, but if you're willing to work at it and open up, it could be everything you've ever dreamed of. When you stop expecting the people you love to be a certain way, you can start to enjoy and appreciate them for who they really are. Six, honesty, vulnerability, and presence are held sacred. Although it may sound risky, the strongest type of love is the love that makes you the most vulnerable. It's about daring to reveal yourself honestly and daring to be open and fully disclosed over the long term. It's about sticking by each other's sides through thick and thin and truly being there in the flesh and spirit when you're needed most. So open yourself up, be with the person you love, allow yourself to experience them authentically. Seven, there is a healthy blend of freedom and teamwork. Keep in mind that we can't force anyone to be with us or love us. We shouldn't beg someone to stay when they wanna go. And likewise, we should never feel trapped in a relationship. In fact, if either person feels trapped, the relationship doesn't really exist because that's what a relationship is, freedom. Relationships are also built on solid foundations of teamwork. And since relationships are one of the greatest vehicles of personal growth and happiness, the most important trip you will ever take in life is meeting someone else halfway. You will achieve far more by working with them rather than working alone or against them. The strength of a relationship depends on the strength of its two members, and the strength of each member in the long run depends on the quality of the relationship. Eight, personal growth is embraced, celebrated, and shared. It's not about finding someone to lose yourself in, it's about meeting someone to find yourself in. When you connect with someone special, a best friend or a lifelong partner, this person helps you find the best in yourself. 
In this way, neither of you actually meet the best person. You both grow into your best selves by spending time together and nurturing each other's growth. When you honestly think about what you and your closest confidants add to each other's lives, you will often find that instead of giving or taking things from each other, advice, answers, material gifts, etc., you have chosen rather to share in each other's joy and pain and experience life together through good times and bad. No matter what, you two are there for each other, growing and learning as one. 9. Outsiders aren't calling the shots. Relationships don't make sense, especially from the outside. So don't let outsiders run your relationship for you. If you're having a relationship issue with someone, work it out with them and no one else. You have to live your life your own way. That's all there is to it. Each of us has a unique fire in our heart for certain people. It's your duty and yours alone to decide if a relationship is right for you. You've got to stop caring so much about what everyone else wants for you and start actually living and deciding for yourself. The floor is yours. In your experience, what are some good signs that you're in a good relationship?